Hey guys, it's Tarek with Cyclone FPV, and I am on a roll today. We are taking this from the early morning into the night, and there's no stopping because I am behind a few days because my system's crashed. Now that they're back up and running uh, software-wise, as you can tell, I have still, I'm still as dirty as I was when I first started my videos this morning, and I have not had a chance to even step aside for a second to get anything done. So here goes. We're going to go ahead and start with our next RMA. Um, and I'm gonna have to look this one up seven two four six. So let me see. Let me go to the system here Let me go to the web real quick before I even show you anything. Let's head on over and see what this RMA is all about All right, so let's see. Uh, let me type this in. Let's log in And here we go let me Punch in this number real quick Okay, so here we go it says, uh, let's reopen it, and it says that uh, recently purchased uh, Sector 5, the 6S version uh, from Cyclone. I chose the R9, blah, 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 but I can't even register the module. It says waiting for, after I powder it on holding the buy button, the receiver, is there a specific? Okay. Okay, now... So there was a buy, so there's been a different issue. I recently bought the HA Sector 5 6s on my first order. Is it disarmed before it went toward a crowd of construction workers? The damage of the drone was minimal. I lost the camera lens. Whoa. Okay, so let's just get to it here. He said that he went towards a crowd. Oh. Okay, there's some broken stuff on here, so let's just see what we're talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the um, let's put this on the on the bench here, just like this. So let's try to understand what's going on, and at the same time, let me continue reading what he said. So he said, okay. I can get power to SC. I had this problem frequently with most of my other drones. I can power the SC, but not the ESC with the USB. Is there something I'm doing that's causing this? Uh, Chris, I would agree with you that regular. I have a vacation plan for the 24th. Oh, no. Okay. So first thing is we need to get this going, but we need to find out what's wrong with it, right? So let's go ahead and get everything lined up. Uh, we're going to open this up real quickly and see what damage, if any. Okay, we do know the GPS is damaged. This has broken the GPS piece right out. So that's first thing. Uh, we will have to look at repairing that perhaps uh, or replacing the GPS um, okay that's my other son Let's see how he's doing Okay, good night, my boy. Tons. Sleep well and say your prayers. Love you guys. Tons and tons. All right. I miss my kids, man. Miss them. You know what? I've learned not to unscrew this from the side. Sorry, I need to do that. From the front part comes up from the bottom. That's the better way to do it so that we don't have to disconnect all this other crap. So we'll take these off. Okay. Just like that. Now we're just going to come over here and screw this. And this way, all the other crud that they have on here doesn't have to be messed with. Okay. Oh. All right, now we're in. First, this is cut. That doesn't, that doesn't look good. I don't know why that zip tie would be cut. And let's go ahead and disconnect the camera, shall we? Hold on, I'm sorry, I need to ask my son. All right, okay. All right. Sorry guys, I just, So let's see what's going on. 
All the parts are aside, we'll put our tools back right here. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take uh, the, I think well, actually what I'll do is I'll get my multimeter. Okay, we're good there. Get my old man goggles. Uh, so this is strange because it's broken here. So these tabs are, this snapped off. This hit pretty hard clearly to make these break. Um, not sure about this, but the debris is on there. Uh, but in either case, that broke, that snapped pretty damn hard. Uh, all right, so let's see now. We, we know that there is no, we don't have any continuity showing up here. So we don't have a problem there. At least it doesn't seem to be. So let's go ahead and take our, um, power okay and this extra long cable I love this thing all right so let's go ahead and take that and I'm just gonna to try to reach it to here for right now and safely test our setup. Okay. Now I've disconnected the VTX, so you don't have to worry about it interrupting with the video feed. Okay. Let me put this back and let's see what's going on. So let's get our USB cable now. And prepare to plug this in, shall we? Yes, we shall. Now, is this USB C or USB? It is wonderful. Okay, so let's change that to this one right here. Oh, that's right, because we don't have a, uh, I have not loaded the virtual comp port drivers. So let's go ahead and get that going. Go to device manager and close this out. So we're gonna have a COM port, but it's not gonna be, see that right there? It's not the right driver. We need to go to the STM32. And good thing we just did a tutorial on that from our website. So if you, oops, we open a new, uh, I'll just drag this one over here. There we go. And if you scroll down, now we're gonna do STM32. And we're gonna do this one right here. Let's go ahead and download that. Show these files in the folder. Okay, we're gonna cut that. We're gonna put it in our drone files. Let's uh, get a new folder here. Stay really nice. We're gonna call this STM drivers. And we're gonna paste. And then we're going to extract.
and we're going to see that change very quickly. There it goes. Excellent. Now we are cooking with grease. Uh, yeah, I guess we can check for updates, but I'm not going to worry about it. There shouldn't be any. Okay, now let's go ahead and head on over to Betaflight. And let's see. Let's go ahead and wait for it to find our port. Have a sip of coffee in the process and click connect. No, wait a minute, what happened? Oh, I see. Let me see what comp port we're on. Son has loaded something here. What is this? Get this. There's here. We're on COM5. The other two need to be removed. Let's go to COM5. Awesome. So there we go. Let's go to motors. Let's make sure we have a run on those. This motor is not doing too good. if it's got debris in it or what but it's if I run the other ones and that's not sounding too good all right let's turn that off okay and let's figure out what else we have going on the amp pull isn't bad so we know that's fine um, I don't even, I'm not even sure that I would say the regulator's bad on this. Uh, I'm not feeling any heat coming from this board at all. So let's kind of figure out what we're dealing with here, right? So here's, here's a setup. And uh, I think almost there may be something else just interfering with it more than anything. So let me go ahead now. What I want to do here is I'm going to disconnect and now, okay, now we've lost our five volt, right? I don't feel any heat. So what I wanna do is I wanna see, uh, I'm gonna take our multimeter, and my guess is that um, this right here, I'm gonna disconnect the GPS, and now I wanna see if I turn this, if I do this, I think the GPS may have shorted this out. because of the damage here, it's quite possible that this would be the source of the problem. I'll turn this off again. I'm just curious. I mean, it doesn't mean it has to be, but I'm gonna turn this off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the GPS cable from here. Okay, let's just start with that. All right, because there's quite a bit of, oh wow, look at that. The minute I move it, the cable breaks. So this isn't good. This cable is pretty much all shot. All right, now, that being said, that doesn't mean that's the problem, but it does mean that we are able to find certain problems right now. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start testing the other 5 volts. We have no 5 volt to here, no 5 volt to here. Okay, we have lost our 5 volts around the board. Uh, we have our ground. Let me just swap hands here before I zap something. So I'm going to put the ground here, and I'm going to touch this 5 volt. We have nothing. This is a nine volt. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Here's a five volt and there's no power there at all. Okay, so it does appear as though there has been damage to the, um, to the regulator, but again, which regulator is gonna be the one that's very interesting because we know it's not the USB, right? So let's play a little bit, man. I mean, I think this is a great opportunity to really demonstrate some of the things that can go wrong and how we can go about finding a workaround. Okay, this definitely does not mean that it's a uh, ruined system by any means. As a matter of fact, I love when we get to challenges like these because it does give us the opportunity to find workarounds, uh, especially when we, we were talking about a low amount of voltage versus a high amount of voltage. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna clear um, I'm going to remove the flight controller and I'm going to inspect all around it to see 
if something stands out, right? We're just gonna try it. And I may I may take this way beyond this could this usually when I do this I end up what is it called? A rabbit hole? I end up going down this rabbit hole trying to uh, figure out uh, how much I really want to do when the easiest fix would be something like uh, perhaps running a five volt to the board. Um, but I get really interested in trying to find solutions that are outside, you know, the not, not necessarily outside the norm, but just, just kind of, you know, above the normal, I guess, uh, the laziness. I mean, I don't like to be lazy with this, and I definitely don't want to just take the easy way out if there's a way to do something and have everybody learn. <sighs> Okay, so we're gonna look at the flight controller first. And um, one of the things I definitely wanna look at is uh, where, where we could have possibly had the damage. And again, I'm gonna to lean towards the uh, GPS because the GPS was completely um, shredded. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna disconnect that real quick. Now, I did not disconnect the um, the receiver prior to doing this I should have probably so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna plug this back in and I just want to make sure okay so now we're upside down so we're looking at the bottom end of this board let's go ahead with our mr. Magoo oh wait look right there we already have ooh. so this is lifting off so we already have a problem right here this chip is lifted off uh, but I think I could put that back okay Oof, that scared me because I wasn't prepared for that. Um, let's see. Uh, let me find a ground here. Let's see. Are clearly some loose pieces here so I'm just trying to make sure battery is good I can see that um, I'm trying to make sure I do not short this out but I, I would have to say that given what's going on there's no guarantee at this point that I will not uh, come in contact with something that's going to short this out here at all um, no voltage here we do have voltage here right now what the heck is going on because I'm holding this ground
All right, wait a minute. So if I could get this here, right? I want to say that I might even have an identical board sitting right nearby. Is this it? It's very close at least. So what I'm trying to figure out now is, is uh, what do we have happening here? So bear with me a second, guys. I'm just wanting to check and see if I can do a... Alright, so what I need to do now is I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab me another one of those boards and test it against it.
find one that may be laying around. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. Let's see, can I find one? It's not the same, but it might give me the information I need. So give me one second. I need to just evaluate one of the chips on here real quickly. Please and thank you. I need the exact same board. There's no way around it. And I have to ask my wife not to go grab it, and that's going to be interesting. So let's see what I can do without getting something thrown at me. 
because they were downstairs the whole time and I didn't touch them and now that she's put them away, I'm going to ask her. So it's not going to be happy with me. But these are the risks we take. Okay, hold on a second now. Here's another one. Now, let me check this one. Now, this one, I believe, is identical to this. So let me just see. It should be the same. Oh, it is the same board. I'm curious here because... I plug in, I can't see, plug in the USB. Okay. Now this would be interesting to see. Let's test this one. This one might lead me to find what the problem is exactly. Okay. First things first. Let's test our voltage. I've got a 5 volt here that comes straight off the USB. Right there. Okay. Which is the equivalent of this right here. It's this 5 volt right here that is powered. And the question is, do we even get this 5 volt? We do. Look at that. So we do have almost 5 volts coming here. The interesting part is on the USB. would be the 5 volt here or the actually I'll just plug right into here because it seems like it's a safer option and we do have 5 volt powered this way so let's start comparing where the 5 volt runs out Okay, so we can find, maybe trace the bad spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check here. Do we have 3.3? Yep, and then here 3.3? Yep, and here we have nothing. And here we have nothing, and here we have nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna plug this in. Nothing and nothing. So far, so good. 
Okay, now let's unplug it. Let's see if we can check any resistance at all in here. So what we do know is that this piece right here lifted off. And if we look at it, see, that's a piece that I pushed back down. What I can't tell you is how it broke. What I can tell you is that I'm not sure it can be fixed, but I just see a spot here that might allow me to do that. Let me just see if I can get this to buzz right here. Okay, it's severed. Okay, so what we're going to try first, first thing we're going to do, which again, here goes the rabbit hole, is we are going to remove this chip, okay, right here. Gosh, I hope this goes smooth, because this is a pain in the butt, and it's hot. This is going to get a little burning, burning hot. Now, while I'm doing this, I need to find the tweezers that I need, so hold on a second before I start catching things on fire. I need the tweezers, not just any tweezers. I need the ones that automatically close and that are ceramic and angled. So it's quite the request, but here they are. Okay, so what I'm gonna do as best as I can is try to remove that chip without damaging the rest of them, okay? And then from there, I'm gonna try to replace it. 
So here goes. Okay, it's off. We're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna take one from a good board, like here. Try to very clean remove it. Side. Now we've got the good chip right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to put this back on and melt it in place. So here is where we really need a lot of good luck. Okay, let me just get this angled properly, just like that. Try to cool, and then we're going to see if we have continuity. Now, oh, that's hot. Okay, so we do have continuity. Okay, so the chip is on there. You can see now that we have continuity there. So that's great. Now that doesn't mean much right now, except. This stuff here is hot. Okay. Question is, do we get good stuff here? And it looks like we got good stuff here. So that's good. Right? Okay. I hate when I burn myself after doing that. Man, it just sucks. Because I know better. I still do it. <laughs> what do you know? Can you believe that? Woo! Tell me about that being magic. We did good today, guys. We did real good. So what we've got, and you know what? I'm very happy that that worked out, and it was on this repair where I was recording it. So what we did is we did a minor chip adjustment. Uh, a transfer okay and so here is our damaged one right here okay here you go and uh, we took it off of a board that we know this is why I save everything okay even if the board's bad it still has chips that aren't good we've put that chip on here and look at that we are cooking with grease guys I'm so excited so I mean we're done I mean like literally we got everything back to normal uh, and um, I'm just going to go put this back together now and call it a day. You know what? Soldering is probably one of the things that excites me the most. I love soldering. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay? And you know, as a matter of fact, let me show you something. Uh, I, I hope I can find these real quickly so I don't waste your time. But oh, <laughs> it's going to be kind of stupid, I know. And a lot of y'all just think it's dumb. But, which is fine. I can respect, I can respect your, your opinions on it. But I really want to show you something here that I think is really cool. Um, that I take great pride in. But... Uh, well, God darn, I take so much pride in it, I can't find it. So I guess I don't take that much pride in it. Uh, but I'm going to get, if you'll just please give me one second. I would like to show you what I do, what I work on usually. Um, I guess maybe when I get to moments like this, it really makes it all worth it. But I can't, <laughs> so excited, I can't find what I, can't find what it is. Because most of the time, most of the time I'm not filming when I do this. And so I'm really excited that I was filming and I'm able to show you guys some of the work that I do. The intent, oh, here it is. This is my, I put it away because I didn't want anybody to get it. So this is what I do, right? See all these? <laughs> these are bags of chips. This is a bag of chips. I 
will sit there and I will take, it should be right about here I think, I will take a damaged flight controller like this. Okay, here I'll just come from the top here and show you. So this is what I was working on a couple days ago and I'm not really doing anything to it except I'm gutting it. It looks like there's chips on here, but when you turn it, you'll see they're all removed. I've removed everything of importance, including the plugs, everything. It just, it may look like there's stuff on here. Uh, there's maybe a couple chips like this one here, but everything's gone and I bagged them. <laughs> I bagged them here. Here they are, okay? And they're all removed. There's a processor right there. There's another one here. Uh, and there's, there's, there's a bunch of stuff in here and I lab I'll label them. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put them on the microscope get their uh, part numbers, and then I'll, I'll categorize them. And then when I notice that something's wrong, I'll just go ahead and, uh, and um, pull from these if I need to. So this is really exciting because I pulled from another board. I didn't go through this because I haven't categorized them yet. But I, you guys got to see it, and that's the best part about it is I got to show you guys kind of what I do that you don't ever see because it's always done behind the scenes. Um, but this is, the, this is what makes my job really fun. So the nerd stuff, like pulling. I mean, if you saw me... Ah, never mind. Nobody would ever guess that this is what I do. But um, so there's some chips. There's some processors in here. STM thirty two F four hundred five processors in here, uh, and uh, they can go on boards when a processor is, is blown or a three volt goes out on it. Uh, okay. So, anyways, that's an awesome fix, man. And and I'm really excited about that because that does um, demonstrate some of the repairs that we do that I tend to not show you guys on those ones because I'm usually just in it and I'm not recording it. I'm just doing this for my own. So there you go. If you have any questions, guys, as always, please head on over to our Facebook page and there's our group's address right there at the bottom. And, um, and again, on top of that, if you would please subscribe to our channel. Uh, I'm going to keep working tonight. I got a lot to do. I'd appreciate your uh, support though by subscribing. Okay. And uh, again, uh, I'm, it's, it's late. Um, it's 11 o'clock. Uh, so I'm going to tell my kids if they, in case they're watching or in case they're going to see this. Good night, guys. I love you all very much. We miss you all here. I uh, hope you have a good night. Say your prayers. Don't forget to say your prayers. And to everybody else, God bless. Be safe. Go spend time with your family, guys. Never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You got time to fly later. And as always, thanks again for your support. I appreciate you very much. Take care. Bye.